So in this part, I want to take the curve we drew last time and be able to taper the top of it so it's not just open. And uh, where we left off, our curve looks something like this, right? It doesn't have any tapering. Uh, to do this, here's what we are going to do. We are first going to add a set curve radius node. This is going to let us change the thickness of it kind of like over time. As you can see, it's letting us control the radius. And what I want to do is I want to control this as we go up the curve. So I'm going to use the spline parameter and use the factor for this. What I want to do is I want to say take the top 10% of it, so from like 0.9 to 1, because the factor goes from 0 to 1, from 0.9 to point or to 1, and make it go from 1 to 0, so it kind of pinches. You're going to see it's not actually doing that. It's actually starting from the bottom and working all the way to the top, and this is because it's only composed of two points. So if we resample our curve and give it like 100 points, you could see from 0.9, 90% of the way up the curve, it's going to start pinching and we can kind of control this. Uh, to control the shape, instead of making it kind of linear, uh, you can either you know smooth the step or uh, to get even more control, we can use an RGB curves, which will let us kind of round the top here and uh, you can change where that begins. By the way, you can also do complicated shapes like this, but uh, this is how we do the thing. And now in the next step, we need to actually make it look like a cactus or so sweeping a star instead of a circle. 